Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Apologies if you guys can hear uh, some noise. We have some noise going on next door, so I just apologize. There's some, uh, I don't even know what you would call it, like a, not a power wash, but some sort of um, cleaning situation. Don't know how to explain it. But anyways, boys, today we also don't have coffee cream, so we're drinking black coffee today, man. I'm not a black coffee drinker, but that's what we're doing today. Boys, we have a leaked uh, Team of the Week, man. There was a leaked Team of the Week that went out last night on Twitter. Um, and EA basically, actually, they had to take down... Uh, EA had to take down... I think this is going to be Team of the Week 7. EA had to take down, in the Foot Champs section, um, they had to take this down, man. They had a Foot Champs upgrade available here. And EA actually had to get rid of it, I think, for like a little while. I think they just put it back in. Because there was Team of the Week 7 players in the thing. So we already know that Lozano... Tiago Silva and one other player uh, have a card because the red player pick was in there, which is so, so crazy to me. Um, overnight, the only thing I got caught with was I was trading with Urenka this weekend and I was flipping him from 320 to 350. And he's going to be in this team of the week. He is in the team of the week. So I had to sell him. Uh, last night, we bought an Obama at 1.3. We sold at 1.5 uh, earlier yesterday. And then we have some Diabis who we bought at like 150. Uh, and that was kind of a bust. He actually went up to like 160, 170, then he went down to 140, and then he's now 155. So, did not make any coins overnight, didn't do anything crazy. And the transfer list currently looks like this. I should list my lazy buyers uh, on the Benzema's and the ZH's. I'm just being lazy as hell. But that's currently where we're at. And I think for you guys to know where we're sitting for coins, it's probably 15 or 16. That's probably realistic. I went through and tallied a little bit today. I think that's a little bit more realistic. But Team of the Week 7, guys, um, I think that there was a leaked squad that went around and uh this ex exactly is it um so there looks like there's going to be a second inform ali watkins looks like there's going to be a urente it looks like we're getting a center forward messi which is going to be insane and i'm really happy because this week i finished gold two and that's pretty much the best thing you could ask for man gold two is the way to get messi uh we got an 89 bruno in there a tiago silva we actually i think that's a mukieli center back card um, we've got a Castiles, a Sergio Roberto, and a Lozano. So this is what we know so far. Um, they came out basically, and then they're, they're, I guess there's all these leaked and rumored players. People are, they, apparently there's gonna be Mkhitaryan. Um, you know, there's gonna be it's it's actually a decent team of the week, man. It's not a bad team of the week at all uh, by any means. So this this is actually exciting to me. Uh, this is exciting to me. Now Lionel Messi, I guess, is rumored that he's gonna be a center forward, and uh, I guess there's a rumor that Sané might get one. That that would be crazy. I mean. I think what we could do to figure out if Sonny's in, if Sonny is in, you'd, you'd go on the market and his card would be extremely inflated. Uh, like we're talking like 450 to 500. If he's in, that's what his team of the week card will, that's what his, and he's not at that price. So I doubt that Sonny's going to be in because if he was in, all the leakers would have this card at 450 to 500 right now. This That's kind of the reality of FIFA. It's kind of the reality of what would happen. So uh, today we just have international break, guys. We shouldn't have any crazy content. Um... And I wanted to discuss with you guys, you know, I think tomorrow the market's going to rise a lot. So I think if you're trying to invest, it's not a bad idea. Out of pack specials, uh, gold metas, icons, I think any of that is really good. Um, but I think a lot of you guys were asking me about a buy time uh, on a lot of these cards. And I think for the Europa League cards, there'll probably be some sort of buy time around Sunday is my guess for the Europa cards. I think Sunday will be a buy time. Um... These guys are in packs till next Tuesday, so they have a bit of time to kind of come into packs, to mature, to, to get down in price. Whereas when we talk about the Champions League cards, I think these are a little bit more interesting to talk about because these guys have a quicker turnaround. These guys are out of packs on uh, this Friday. So there's definitely some investments that I like there. Um, I think number one that I really like is Sanson. Um, I think that he's going to do really well with all of the League One cards in the game. I feel like that's something that's like secure money. If you're looking for some sick profit, when would you buy this guy? Probably some point tomorrow. Um, and I think you'd be looking for maybe low 30s, mid 30s. I don't, he should get a lot of supply tomorrow. He's at 40 right now because people are building him in teams with a tall. But uh, yeah, I like that one a lot. I also really like, um, I really like Perisic. I think Perisic is really solid. Um, I think this one is like a solid one. But I also think it's really important that you guys probably do some research on the standings because I haven't done enough of that yet. I don't know enough about the Champions League yet to be commenting on who's going to advance and who's not going to advance. But uh, the lower budget guys will always do a little bit better out of packs than the higher budget guys. I will always warn you about that. Um, Griezmann is actually really low today. And I think 
I think maybe the main catalyst to him being panic sold is maybe the fact that we're getting a messy center forward, but I, I don't actually know because Griezmann was like 670, 660 religiously this week. And now he's coming down and he's sitting pretty he's sitting pretty low right now. I mean, I mean Footman has him at 628, which is kind of lower than what he has been. Uh no, that's not on the market, but we probably have a bunch of 640s. Yeah, a bunch of 635s, 633s. We go ahead and take a look at the hourly trend with this guy. Uh 669 yesterday. I mean, even Griezmann, I think there's not a bad buy situation tomorrow where if he goes somehow into the 500s, you'd have a you'd have a window to buy, I would say. Um, but I don't know, man. He's more of one of those kind of meta guys, and I don't see Griezmann being packed a lot. I think he's also really hard to pack. Uh, icon market is not really down much. The only thing that I've noticed on the icon market that is down a bit is uh, some icon midfielders. Some of these icon mids are actually down because of Renato Sanchez, um, which to me shows me how many people are actually trying to use this Renato Sanchez. And uh, Maradona is actually quite low right now. That's interesting. He. A lot of these icons, man, are always lower on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and they just go so high on Thursday. Not even Thursdays, but Fridays, man. Fridays, the icons go crazy. And I'm still I'm still personally astounded, man, at the fact that the FIFA community, man, people are paying 850K for Renato Sanchez, man. It's crazy to me, boys. It is crazy. Super rare, but it's crazy to me, man. His inform is 240K, and it's like the same, same card, man. I know, it, I know this one's going to upgrade, but guys, man, damn, it's crazy to me. It's so nuts to me that people... You know, are, are, are doing the way they're doing with this Renato, man. I, I find it insane. Because I just think overall, you know, there's no difference. So save the coins. Go with a fourth of the price. And when, when you feel like Lille is about to get upgraded, he's an 800k card. I don't think he's going to double in price when he's going to get an upgrade. I can't see that Renato being crazy. But, hey, we could be looking at the most expensive 84 rated card in the history of FIFA, man. Who knows, right? Who knows? Because the upgrade ratings that Renato's going to get is going to go from 82 to 84 to 86. That's really what he would do. So that makes it interesting. I'm kind of watching Bruno this morning. Although, I used to do a lot of trading with Team of the Weeks, right? And what would happen was that EA would announce the Team of the Week at 10 a.m. The real thing would drop at 1. And there was always this window of panic in between. And that's kind of that's kind of long lost and gone now. Because basically, the only panic that happens is on the Team of the Week announcement. Slash, maybe if there's like a, a widespread leak going around early on. So that, that whole kind of method that I was working on. It's not so much of a method anymore, which is tough, man, because I used to have a lot of fun doing that. And uh, and it was definitely it was definitely a really good method, man. It was like something that worked really well. Um, other than that, man, I, I think tomorrow we could see an opportunity where rule breakers go really high. I'm, I'm excited about rule breakers tomorrow, man. I'm really excited about these guys. I feel like these guys are now are now pretty rare. I think they, they now have the ability to like to like really get that spike upwards. I think that they started to get it last weekend. But I'm I'm excited about these guys, man. I think they really have the chance to start start doing the big business in terms of rises man i think they're they're rare enough now where we're at the point where we can look at them and say wow these guys could really jump up man especially you know a guy i don't i mean i'm not specifically buying all campos at 124 but you know if you had any panic going on today you should be taking a look at some cards out of packs i would recommend man because i think i think i want to see if this gets bid on but yeah i think there's there's not a bad shout with some of these rule breakers um especially rule breakers too because these guys were in packs uh, for way, way less. And we could also see the demand with Atal here, man. I mean, Atal has risen Di Maria to go 40K, man. To me, that's just crazy. So you're seeing some real, real demand there. And then, uh, Op you know what's interesting is Opara rebounded really nicely. Uh, Opara had a really nice rebound, guys. Uh, he went back up very nicely, um, which to me is, it's not surprising, but it's it's interesting, right? I think it's interesting that he rebounded so much. Um, wow, this price is crazy, man. This guy's 359, man. This guy does not drop. 359 he's gonna go to the moon this weekend for the first time all year that card is gonna go to the absolute moon this weekend i think is what i'm is what i'm looking at bro but uh yeah i think uh i think tomorrow is gonna be a good day for the market man i'm not really concerned with it i think it's gonna be a very successful day for the fifa market i think we're gonna have nice little rises all around the board and uh yeah Hopefully we do get this messy today, man. I mean, I know I know for sure if you wanted like exact players that are gonna be this team of the week. I know that Lozano is in, I know that um Bruno is in, I know that Tiago Silva is in, and I know that uh there's one other player. I think Yorente was another player that people were getting out of their, their red rewards, which is crazy. And all, anybody who did that red player pick, you guys will most likely get compensated as well. Like EA should give you compensation they'll probably give you what you had and then give you another player pick which is sort of nice and that's kind of always the bug with the system is that with ea you kind of always kind of try to finesse these guys and get extra stuff like extra player picks and uh and stuff like that so there's always a little bit of a finesse there 
that's my video for today, boys. I'm almost done with the Kunde objective. Almost done, man. Almost done. I got four more games left. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.